With a list of addresses and boxes containing Narcan and other supplies, the Metro Health's quick response team prepares to hit the road Friday morning. The goal, providing those who have recently overdosed with the resources to eventually choose a drug-free life and in the meantime, educate them on how to save a life. Last year, about 500 residents died of a fatal overdose. Uh, in almost all of those cases, fentanyl was involved. Virtually all, if not all of those overdoses could have been reversed if someone was present and had naloxone. Ben Goldman with Metro Public Health and Wellness said the state-funded program, which marked three years this summer, began at the recommendation of a Kentucky doctor who specialized in addictions. And it works with the help of people like Samantha Elkins, who lost her son's father to an overdose. When I'm able to go to these homes where they've also lost a loved one, I can share my pain with them and we can bond over that and then talk about the resources that are available for both of us out there. Now those visits happen thanks to referrals from Metro EMS, Louisville Fire and a few area police departments. The goal to make it out there within 72 hours of that initial overdose run, but admittedly, those first visits don't always go as planned. But the second and third time that we follow up with them is kind of where the magic happens. Cillian Brown is part of a team that's knocked on about 4,000 doors in just three years' time. Are you guys doing okay today? And he says every single knock, every conversation is an opportunity to not just change a life, but maybe save one. There have been a lot of uh, moments where, you know, we walk away and we're high-fiving each other or shedding a tear. Um, because it was just such a, a moving moment that we, we got to interact with somebody and really help them along the way. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.